watch it on Paramount, yeah. Yeah. Next up, I think most of us have seen this here, but correct me if I'm wrong, Peaky Blinders. No. Uh, this has been on Netflix. This basically shows uprising of, you know, Irish gangs in London. Mm-hmm. And Cillian Murphy is deliciously well cast. And Sam Neill is wonderful as one of the inspectors. Please note, I've only seen the first season. There's wait, wait, what is it called? Peaky Blinders. Is it that guy? Cillian Murphy from Batman. Yeah. Yes. And yes, and he's wonderful. Okay, I've heard of it, and so many people have told it's me to It's a very watch compelling it. show. I know Tom Hardy's in season two. I have not seen that season, but the, the first season, I think... My sister was marathoning it, and we I'm got it over and that. done with in yeah, one day. It was just that. couldn't take your eyes off. It didn't matter what side you were on. It was and you have like, the British accent. It takes place in London. I mean, so. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you got Irish guys, so yeah. It's, Either one, I love Irish or British accents. Right, and I think one of them has connections to IRA later on, but I have not seen that. Don't season. tell me, I want to watch it. Anyway, so yeah, it's just a very compelling, and it may, again, it's one of those shows like, how wrong is wrong. If that, if technically what you're doing isn't getting anyone else harmed or something like that, it, um, a lot of people do get harmed on this show. But uh, it's like then, 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 well, and then it shows how brutal the police really are being, and then how uh, he's kind of being a Robin Hood at various points. How he's outsmarting all the shitty gangsters okay. and making everyone go to his side. Like, hey, I'll keep you safe. <laughs> just okay, buy my, just buy my shit. <laughs> Anyway, uh, next up. That one is on Netflix, though, right? Yes, Netflix. it is, and it's well worth it. Oz. Oz, Oz the prison? The fucking wonderful show. And it is currently on Prime and HBO Go, and it still holds up. It's. Okay. No one's seen this. How old is I mean, I'm how like, well, what year did it come out in? 97. And mm. it, it was the precursor to Sopranos, but I think it deserves more mention because. It was kind of an anthology show. It just showed all these guys in this experimental prison. Ernie Hudson was brilliantly cast as the warden. Eddie Falco, who later played Carmelo in Sopranos, was perfect as one of the security guards. J.K. Simmons is in there as a white supremacist. Mm-hmm. In other words, Sons of Anarchy would not exist without this show because okay. it shows all these guys who have all gone to prison for different elements. Like one of them was just an accomplished lawyer who ran over a girl by accident, and the other guys, you know. So they're well, all in prison? Yeah, John Cena from Selena fame, who's now in Chicago PD, uh, is brilliant in the pilot episode as one of the guys who <laughs> shoots Captain Mayhem. Yeah, this is where Captain Mayhem got his start. No one's seen those commercials. No. Captain I'll stay. Mayhem. Captain Mayhem. He goes oh, smashing well, I, through I know he is. I know what he's Dean about. Winters. Oh, yeah. About. This is where he got his start okay. before he was on Law & Order and uh, John Wick, <laughs> 30 okay. Rock. And... It's funny how he gets shot by John Cena's character and he didn't die and they both end up in the same prison cell <laughs> oh, messing with each other. And it really, it, it's just a brilliantly cast show. You're able to follow all the storylines without losing interest. They're all equally intriguing and it's all organized. And again, it has the docudrama style that every show has. A Sidney Lumet kind of feel. All right. And... Round so, of applause. Uh, justified. Justified. Justify it. <laughs> this is basically redneck gangsters. Okay. It's like Western, though, right? It's very, very Western. And Timothy Oliphant, and it's based on the works of Elmore Leonard, who is work you see Tarantino quoting quite a lot. It's just brilliantly funny, very organized. But I heard it ended. It got canceled, right? After six seasons, that's a good run. Okay. I'm still catching up because for whatever reason, I was watching it for a while. I saw the first two seasons, and then. I just wasn't able to make time because I was trying to get out of college. <laughs> but no, it's a good show. It's on Prime. It's on Prime, yes. We did it. I'm not I'm done. Not, not done. No, I said we did it. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, show. I did. <laughs> <laughs> the Corner. The Corner? Another HBO crime show. Is it? By the same people who did Oz, Homicide, and The Wire. The and Corner? The yes. Corner? The Corner. Or like, the corner, like it's a like corner with, or something. Yes, like okay. we're selling drugs on the corner. Oh, that's what it's I about. can tell if you're saying that or the coroner. The coroner. <laughs> that's gangster because it could be a corner yes. that all those gangsters go to. I make you go, go away yeah. in flames. <laughs> Cremation or burial, doesn't matter. We'll never see you again, bitch. Anyway, <laughs> so the corner is jaw dropping. It's about seven episodes. I was dog sitting one night. My neighbor who I was dog sitting happened to have HBO and I just binge uh, okay. watched this in one fucking night nice. and it again just like the wire just mind boggling it's like 
this is real shit that happened. And they had Charles S. Studdon, beloved character actor, mm-hmm. who narrate this because he's had similar experiences. Ooh. And so it, like it, it makes it cool because he serves to break the fourth wall mm. now and again. Like, introduce each chapter. like, this is the corner. I grew up on this corner. And <laughs> now you're going to see what happened. You know, shit like that. But it, I'm making it sound cheesy, but it's not cheesy at all. It's yeah. just kind of a straight face. Yeah. Okay, next up. Next up. For those who have stars, I no longer have stars. I recently got into this I, on I Google. Just, Canceled stars. Yeah, so. I know. Dare you. I know. Fucking game. I know. Like so, most of the films I've I, I know. The stars. irony is, stars has gotten way better in recent years because now they have one of the former HBO heads as the main admin behind it. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Anyway, so this is speaking on a, on that note. This is very Sopranos, Shield inspired. Uh, I mean, actually, more like The Wire. Power. Oh yes, I, just, I love power. I just got into power, oh, and it's fifty cent. Yes, uh, and, that, and that's just it. Job. Everyone's played up the whole rivalry between them and Empire. There's no fucking comparison. Empire is about the rap and music scene. Yeah. This is about. And that's what I was going to tell you too. A, Do you think Empire falls under that category? It only. I don't know. I think it's I, more like about the music. It's more like Empire is more of a soap opera. Music. Yeah. There are criminals on it, but they're, they're not, not. They're yeah. not played up in such a way where it's like remember that serial killer. And he's stuff. more like not into that anymore. Like that was like his more like his past. Right. You know? um, unless it was about a record producer who you know was basically you know part of a black or mobster or Italian mobster gang. I wouldn't. I would something. not call Empire a gangster show. Power. Yeah, power is so. I good. instantly hooked because it is. It doesn't pretend to be smarter than it actually is, and it doesn't play the viewer for a fool. You know. And you there see, are plot twists. The plot Very twists do plot pay twists. off. Have you seen this, Nate? No, I haven't. I. Do you like Breaking Bad or The Sopranos? I've watched only one season of The Sopranos. Okay. And I I'm waiting for the Breaking next Bad. season for Power. If you like those, you're going to like this one because it just pays off. The, everything's organized. I like how there's like free main protagonists. I like how, you know, everyone's got a equal screen time. Like the wife, the uh, other interfering presences. And Angela. the plot does make sense. They managed to regurgitate it enough without making you feel like, okay, I get it already, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and you do have to keep up, because it will, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, what, what? They do oh, have okay. a lot of sexy scenes, too. They have sex, but it doesn't feel like, you know, hard, soft porn, like no, no, Shameless it... or yeah. Game of Thrones. It feels more very collected. It's like, okay, got, got to keep the missus happy. Yeah. Anyway, but no, what's funny is, well, not funny, but just wild is how... Oh. You know, there's been so many recent shows like this, like Queen of the South, which have just been lazy, you know, and just, let's just play up. Hey, we're a gangster. Hey, we're going to kill each other. And it's just like, this one doesn't even do the whole turf war thing. It's more of a collected, how do I stay afloat? It's, a, it's like, it's like they show some of the And he's the not, and he doesn't stuff, want to get his hands dirty. But it's more like, now what it's evolved to, what I've been seeing is that it's more a war between them. And know? the like pilot... It took a while to go into the pilot, but the pilot is really oh my God. compelling because I did not see the twist coming where the old flame of his happens to be working with FBI people and it's like, oh, and yeah. so that's that. why she doesn't want to get close to him. She likes him yeah. and she's going to regret liking him because she's got to take him down now. <laughs> and... And so there's the, that, that mental struggle that, that oh, each of these people you see have. And no one, you know, they all have mental well, struggles. I don't know who... I'm not familiar with the writers. I think this is their breakout hit. And I've seen the lead in other movies before, but this is his claim to fame. And he's... Oh, yeah. yeah. He lovely. plays this so well. What's his name? Omari? Yeah, Omari, Omari Hardwick. He started as an extra on shows like Friends. Yes, he did. I think he 227. Rose, and, like... He, he's my inspiration. Like the other day, he posted something on Twitter, on Instagram about, "Look at me, I was like just background, and now I have you know my." And this is one of the highest and... rated uh, black demographic shows since The Wire. Mm-hmm. It has a very big following, but see, it's going to appeal to anyone of any crime feel. It's just, a th- and it's not a guy's show, and it's not. None of the characters ever sound the same. Like. You see some of those shows where it's like, okay, all the women in this are sluts, all the guys in this are meatheads. You know? Yeah, it's like, there's different. I, and it's like the white, you know, streetwise got pal of his, you know, he's legit organized crime, but he's also trigger happy. Yeah. And so you're waiting for him to fuck up. 
His, uh... Yeah, the right, the main character's right hand. I knew she was. Ah, Eleven! God damn it. Look, it's her ambulance setting them that the dog got out. We're almost done, man. Yeah, we're almost, almost done. done. Anyway, uh... So, um, final closing oh, sorry. thoughts. But yeah, Tommy is always like the loose cannon. And yeah. you're still like so worried, like, oh my god, what is Tommy gonna do now, you know? Well, and... I don't know. It's just the way it collected itself. I wouldn't say it's total new age noir, but it, it did it in a way where it's like, this could be compelling. This can be. This will really unravel. And it, and again, it just pays off. It's kind of a third person kind of look at it, and oh man, I just every inch of this you could do a five different 500 different diagrams on who organizes what block yeah and it's it's like it it's uh um, the commentary is not forced there's not even really any commentary to speak it's just a very no yeah and uh, it kind of gives how, you a how view. would how would a regular businessman handle a modern day crime empire yeah. And it also shows him how he's trying to get out, right? Because he knows, like, as a modern day empire, he's like, I have to get out. He can't keep this going. Yeah. His wife thinks, oh, he cheated on me with that bitch, you know? <laughs> God, I, I like it. I liked all the drama, especially all the drama. Mm -hmm. I love that, too. Um, very last. Do we have any Prison Break fans here? Prison Break. Oh, I, love I, lo break. I know a lot of Prison Break fans, but I didn't watch it. I was slow to the party. You know, a lot of I, I watched it only because of that guy. Well, see, it's that's just it. What this, guy? The, 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 the creator eyes. of this show, uh, Paul T. Schwering, who later co-wrote movies like A Man Apart and Den of Thieves, uh, he was inspired by the show Twenty Four and as well as The Fugitive, both versions, and is very much a mixture of that because it's not just a prison show, and it does have numerous games, Chinese, Italian, and even some Soprano guys on there. But what's also cool is it's also a government conspiracy show. What would happen okay, yeah. if my brother, who kill, supposedly killed the president's brother, who's actually not dead. Oh, I didn't <laughs> know it was about that. It, it's deliberately convoluted, and it, I'm in the minority on this. I think it works for all of it. I, I didn't know it had to do I, with that. With the yeah, government. yeah, it's kind of mentioning Canada in a way, and it's like, so what do I do? I gotta sit, find a way to send myself to jail and get my brother out of prison. So everyone, has, all fans of the show, have an ongoing joke which season on the show is inside a prison and which show, season of the show is outside. Okay. And, and sometimes there's seasons that are both. We're in, we're out, we're in, we're out, we're in, we're out. <laughs> but I think it changed it. I would argue it changed it up enough to just keep it going. Now, my one flaw with it was it was produced by the same guys that did Fast and Furious, but it's a big cut above those. Although Amari Nolasco and some of uh, the guy who plays Teabag are just fucking brilliant character actors. Yeah. T back here. Hey, hey. Gonna rip I, you. I thought, <laughs> That's how what many he seasons did. did that have? It is five seasons and they are all on Hulu okay. and boy howdy. William Fitchner. We know him from Armageddon, Black Hawk Down. Oh, okay. The bank clerk in Dark Knight. Okay. Yeah. I well, think I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, he is this is a really cool role for him because he starts out as a pretty unethical special FBI agent who's killing the prisoners, just wants to kill him. And then he ends up his dirty deeds get noticed and so then he you know goes on a he goes fugitive uh -huh. and joins them in a far prison overseas wow. and so it gets all is like yeah it could never happen but if it could That's boy howdy i mean this did some cool world building yes i get that prisons are more complicated than this but it at least follows my screenwriting professors instructions of characters lose enough and propel it by having enough build up to just more more conflict and explosive results and on when i looking back on it now i think it's very definitely better organized than a lot of these other action and crime shows because when they blow shit up it's often like every seven episodes versus every fucking every episode. episode like there's even some episodes that don't even have any gunfight and they're just talking and realizing oh set me up with this bitch. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. know, it's very like finding out stuff. Yes, and I mean when those act those lead actors were later on Legends of Tomorrow, they kept making fun of how they were, you know, hey, we're gonna do a prison break. It's like, that's so lame. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm, I heard good things about it. Uh Nate, you've never seen this? No, I haven't. I mm -hmm. recommend it if you like 
other prison movies and escape fugitive shows. It definitely kept it my blood good. running for about <laughs> two months watching this back to back. And an honorable mention to Godfather and Epic for television. The Coppola in 77 on NBC decided to edit the first two Godfathers together in chronological order with occasional flashback. Yeah, yeah. It is very hard to find. Usually, if you want to find it on VHS, it's going to be a bootleg off eBay or iOffer. There was a version later on that they did, which combined the third movie and that you can find on home video. Yeah. But now, the beauty of this one is around 2016, HBO aired aired this but they aired it intact with all the r-rated components present okay and so you know the tv version did pretty good at cutting everything for time and adding additional scenes like you see what's his name young young Vito, played by de niro uh-huh. actually go on a killing spree you know show how he got to be done by going on a few other murders mm-hmm. and just some other extended scenes that are key to michael's development as the future don mm-hmm. i i think it's it's my preference at watching The Godfather. If I'm going to watch The Godfather, instead of just doing a fucking marathon, I'd just like to see it all edited together. Okay. That's just my personal preference. And that concludes my list. All right. Well, I wanted to do my honorable mention because I did want to do the movie Friday. I love that movie. The main reason why I love it is because at the <laughs> end, he doesn't pick up the gun and shoot the guy. He actually fucking fights him and yeah, wins. It's okay. just it's a great parody. All right. <laughs> Yay. Well, I mean, really far this time. Gun safety. No, I already talked about gun safety when I introduced Don't it. I said make sure <laughs> that you point it down and that the safety's on and that the clip is out and that there's nothing in the barrel. Okay. And handle it with safely ha- safety always. Okay. And when you guns and, are dangerous, they kill people. Yeah, if, make sure your finger is not on the trigger. Yeah, make sure okay. your finger. Yeah. And yeah. next week we will talk about what are we talking about, Ruby? What um, we want to talk about. Next week we're talking about feel good movies, Yay. movies that make you cry, make you very Schindler's happy, list. make you no no Rocky no, Ford no good, good tears Schindler's feel list. good good tears Schindler's list Schindler's I feel list good when he, when he saves all the Jews I feel happy okay, okay. all right That's bye. A close. bye. bye. <laughs>